Hello. This related rig problem deals with change in water level of a coffee cone filter and the coffee carafe that's holding the coffee that's brewing. We're given some dimensions of the cone. Diameter is six inches, height is six inches, and we're also told that the base of the coffee carafe is six inches in diameter. We are told that the change in volume of the carafe, oh, excuse me, of the filter is 10 cubic inches per minute. So it's emptying out of the filter into the carafe. We know that the volume of the carafe is that of a cylinder. And given that its diameter is six inches, we would know that the radius then would be three inches which we can put into this formula and calculate the formula for the correct. So volume is pi, three inches, quantity squared times height. Simplifying a bit, we're going to get nine pi inches squared times height. And if we differentiate with respect to time on both sides, We'll have change in volume with respect to time is equal to 9 pi, constant multiplier, which is getting copied, dh dt. And we're going to solve for this. This is what we need to know. So we're going to isolate that by dividing these pieces out. So dh dt is equal to dv dt divided by 9 pi inches squared. Now this quantity was given to us for the coffee filter. That was its empty rate, but notice that that's also the fill rate of the coffee carafe. So here we're going to have dh dt equals a fill rate of 10 inches cubed per minute divided by 9 pi inches squared, leaving us with an exact value of 10 over 9 pi, and the units being inches per minute. And you can turn it into a decimal if you like. I'm going to leave it like that. Next, we're asked to find the change in height of the water level in the cone at a specific point in time, and that point is when the height is five inches high. So let's use what we know. We know that the empty rate for this is negative 10 inches cubed per minute, which will give us a relationship dv dt again. So let's find the volume of the cone. And we know that its diameter is 6 inches, thus its radius is 3 inches. And we can make a proportion. R is to H as 3 is to 6, or 1 half. And if I multiply both sides by H, I can have a relationship that says R is 1 half H. And that works for this cone because of the relationships of its radius and height. So I can simplify my formula for volume of the cone, which is one third pi r squared h for all cones. But for this cone, we have a special relationship. So it enables us to simplify a bit. When we see radius, we can replace it with one half h. So volume is one third pi times one half h quantity squared times h. That cleans up to one third pi one fourth h squared h. This to determine change in volume with respect to time. So pi twelfths constant multiplier. Differentiating h cubed with respect to time is going to give us 3 h squared and then d 
h dt because we're measuring the change with respect to time, not with respect to h. Again, this is what we need to solve for. The question is, what is or how is the water level changing at a specific point in time? So let's solve for that. We'll take dv dt and divide by 4 in the denominator. And specifically when h is 5 inches, we'll be inserting 5 inches and squaring. dt for height of 5 inches in the cone is going to be a negative 10 inches cubed per minute divided by pi force, whoops, force, times 25 inches squared. Notice that our units are going to give us inches per minute, and it's going to be negative, which makes sense because we're dropping, and the numbers that remain are going to be a 25, which will slash reduce and we're going to be left with negative 8 inches per minute.